Okay, yes folks, it's your favourite classic car game show is back. But before we start playing, um, we'll have to give a big thanks to our sponsors on the live stage. Let's uh, pull the curtain back, Abo. Here we go. Our sponsors on the live stage, you can just barely see it's over the back there. It's Cena Car. You can see the flags, and there's a little bit of information there about cenacar.com, uh, and they're supporting us this weekend. They've launched a great way of buying and selling your car safely and without it costing you a packet. Instead of having random bits of paper with your mobile telephone number on the screen, uh, they offer a promotional pack that sells your car for you 24-7. So we've all done it, I've done it, you know, I want to sell a car, I'll put a little sticker on the screen that says it's for sale on the side of a road and hopefully somebody can give me a ring on my mobile. But that means I'm giving my mobile number out. What they do is I, they divert that with their professional pack. Buyers who see your car can text your registration number to receive details of your car and enter to see the advert. And they also get an auto check report on your car. So as soon as they put the text number, they get to find out the advert and they get to see if it's clear on finance, the police ain't interested in it. So it's really good service. It's a brilliant concept and well worth going over to their stand, which is just over there, you can't miss it, see the car. Uh, talk to the guys to find out more. Right, now, I need two volunteers to play my fabulous game show, Play Your Cars Right. I've got a funny feeling you two were here last year and won. Did you win last year? You came second last year, but you brought a comeback in. It's a bit like the X Factor. I weren't good enough Simon last year. I'm better now. I've come back better. Uh, so, I'm going to choose two people from the audience to take part in my fabulous game show, uh, Play Your Cars Right. Who's up for it? Yes, sir. Well, have you? You couldn't get your hand up quick enough. I've got a brewer down here, which is really good, but I'm going to take a young lady. I'm going to take you. And uh, we'll be to hang around because we'll be doing it again later. Uh, come up on stage. Yeah, very good. Come and stand right here. And you, young lady, come up on stage. Nice to meet you. Come and stand right here. Right, let's get your names. You are? Marco. And you are? Marco and Beverly. Okay, so now we've got our contestants. We need our cards, and for that, I need my own dolly dealer. In the words of Bruce Forsyth, I'm the leader of the pack which makes me suck a lucky, lucky chap. Here she is. She's so appealing. Okay, Dolly, do your dealing. Give a big round of applause for Charlie. Now, this is really cool. You're going to love this. Who remembers the game show on Telly with Brucey? Hands up. Right. Charlie here, you may recognise her because Charlie's mum used to be a real dolly dealer, didn't she? Indeed. She worked with Brucey and now she worked with me. Hey? Eh? Told you, it's all the way up in that family, isn't it? It's all the way up. Marco and Beverly. Marco, you've been coming to the Classic Car Show. I think I've been doing this for five years. And I've got a funny feeling I've stared at you for five years. I probably have, haven't I, down here? And Beverly, is this your first time here? First time here, and what do you make of it so far? Fabulous. You enjoying it? It's a great show, isn't it? Great show. So what we're going to do is we're going to play uh, a quick game. I'll play your cards right. I'm going to ask you a question. Um, and when I ask you a question, I'm going to ask it to Beverly, because she's the young lady. She gets it right, you win control of the board, and you can choose whether you go top or bottom. So. What I need for this game show to actually work is its audience participation. I think if you were here before, you'll know exactly what I mean. So when I say audience participation, really do join in you guys, okay? So uh, let's go with a question. I'm gonna ask Beverly, and let's see how close you can get to it. Let's be car starting up out the back. Sounds all right, doesn't it? It's got a blowing exhaust, as you heard. It is my old Volvo, yeah. Many people have dream of living a life on the open road, Beverly, me for one leaving behind their mortgage for a home on wheels. But what we want to know is, what is the world's smallest motorhome? I mean, that's a really tough one. I'll be honest with you, the question is so vague, I don't even know if you're going to be able to answer it. But what is that I will take a manufacturer, not even the model, I'll just take, you could shout at me a manufacturer. It's the world's... We want to know how big the smallest motorhome is. Sorry, there you go, I got that wrong, didn't I? We want to know how big the smallest motorhome is. So, how big is it? Do you reckon it's the size of there to there? Is it 15 foot long? Is it 20 foot long? You're going to say it's 6 foot long. Now, she says 
the world's smallest motorhome is six foot long? Do you think the answer is higher or lower than six foot? Oh, I can't hear you. What do you think? They're all saying lower. Beverly, what do you all say? It was six foot. What do you think? Higher or lower than six foot? You think lower than six foot? Actually, you were wrong. The answer is 10 foot, six inches, and it's a Daihatsu Jetta microbus. That means that Beverly, you win control of the board. Would you like to go on the top or would you like to go on the bottom? You want to go on the top? Careful. Okay, I never said anything, never said a word. But Beverly wants to go on top. Here we go, Beverly. This is your base car, and I'm going to turn it over, and then you can decide whether you want to go higher or lower. So your first car, Beverly. Oh, look at that. It's the Ford Sierra Cosworth. It's a 10, it's a jack. So do you want to go higher or lower than a jack? You want to go lower? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Higher or lower than a jack? That's saying higher. What to say again? Lower. Now, some of them are saying lower. What do you want to do? You want to go lower than a jack, definitely. Okay, let's turn over the next one. Is it lower? Yes, it's a Citroen DS21, one of my favorite cars of all time, and that is a six. Do you think it's gonna be higher or lower than a six? Oh, come on, you're useless. Higher or lower than a six? Higher or lower than a six, Beverly? Higher. You're gonna go higher than a six, a nine? Sorry, it's a nine. I do apologize. I'll start that again. How thick am I? Look, I'm staring at that. But it's actually a nine. So, if it is a nine, is it higher or lower than a nine? They're all saying lower than a nine. You want to go lower than a nine? Let's turn the card over. Ooh, just in there with the Jaguar 420. I think there's one here in one of the halls, uh, and that's an eight. Do we think it's higher or lower than an eight? They're saying lower than an eight. Definitely. Do it again. Oh, got a bit of both there. Higher or lower than an eight? Lower. You want to go lower than an eight? Let's turn it over. Let's see what you got. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, you're sure. playing a good game. This is a Dana double six coupe. Marco, don't worry, I'll come to you in a minute. This is a seven. It's a seven. Do we think it's higher or lower than a seven? You're thinking higher than a seven, you lot. And saying lower. What do you want to do, Beverly? This one says higher. You want to go higher than a seven for the game? Yes! I think eight is higher in this game. So therefore, Beverly, congratulations. You win plenty of cars, right, Marco? Sorry, fella. Do you know what you win? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so let's see Marco on stage. Give him a big round of applause. Beverly can stand here. We do have some prizes for her. We do. Sorry, Abbo's, uh, I think he was Facebooking. Out the back. Oh, Marco, where are you? Come back up. I didn't realise, Marco, look at this, because you never go home empty handed in this game. Right, you get a bag, put the game, uh, James bag, open it up. Yeah, there's loads of bits and pieces inside, and you get a Cena car pack. If you're ever selling your motor, you know how to do it now. Thank you very much, give him a big round of applause. But for Beverly, our winner, look at that. Wow. You've got a, a pack, so you can sell your car if you ever want to sell it. And you've got this gift pack inside it with Christmas coming up from Maguire's. We've got the uh, club showcase down there in Hall 5. Fantastic. How nice is that? We look forward to seeing that on eBay later. There you go. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, give Beverly a big round of applause. So there you go. That was my practice one. It's been a year since I've done that last time. Uh, but it was very good. Thank you very much for joining me on our game show, Play Cards Right. Please give Charlie a big round of applause. <laughs>